वार इंडिया न्यूज आर टूडे लेट्स टॉक ऑन न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी सोल्यूशन टू इंश्योर बिजनेस कंटिन्यूटी ड्यूरिंग कोविड नाइनटीन मेनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर वर्किंग इन इंडिया बाय टर्निंग द प्रेजेंट क्राइसिस इन टू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी एज द नेशन अक्रॉस द ग्लोब हैव गॉन इन टू लॉकडाउन एंड पीपल आर स्ट्रगलिंग टू फाइंड वेज टू फाइट द डिजीज एंड इट्स स्ट्रेट द कोविड नाइन्टीन पैंडमिक has dramatically impacted markets all over the world and the electronic sector is no exception almost all product families contributed to this negative result besides talking about the negative impacts of covid-19 we have also witnessed the huge positive impact of work from home on organizational survivability enabled by technology at global scale overnight millions of white collar executive switched their mode of operations and have continued to remain hugely productive in fact most employees are working for longer hours and much harder no longer distracted by arduous business trips the intellectual output has gone up several notches IT hardware vendors network service providers services firms all came together instantaneously and instinctively without any formal structures to deliver excellence the resilience of our technology infrastructure is being tested in real time and it has even left the nasers truly impressed organizations who have largely depended on physical mechanisms of engaging with customers are turning to digital mechanisms new product launches whether they are mobile phones or automobiles have moved to digital channels in a click of the mouse customers can acquire aspirational products quicker than a pizza services organizations are reaching out to potential customers to pitch their products over video calls physical engagement channels are being replaced with digital education entertainment partying has all moved online manufacturing will embrace factory 4.0 quicker than ever before a boon of customers who will get tailor made everything physical stores will have a virtual twin let's see to the headlines in war india Zoom's stellar growth could become a 100 billion dollar company. Zoom's video conferencing made it a poster child of the pandemic and its current rate of growth will propel it towards a valuation of 100 billion dollar. Its current market capitalization on June 2nd 2020 is around 58.6 billion dollars over 94 times its fiscal 2020 revenues of 622.7 million dollars a report says zoom's stock is now worth more than 5 times the company's initial public offering price of rupees 36 dollar facebook paypal are targeting southeast asia for digital payments Facebook and PayPal have invested in Gojek, an Indonesian-based app for food shopping, commuting, and making digital payments, aiming to cement their position in the fast-growing digital payments market in Southeast Asia. Rupees fifty thousand crores has been committed for electronics manufacturing. The Indian government has announced an outlay of rupees. 50000 crores that is approximately 7 billion usd for the three schemes that is for pli specs and emc 2.4 the scheme will help offset the disability for domestic electronics manufacturing and hence strengthen the electronics manufacturing ecosystem in the country these schemes shall contribute significantly to achieve a 1 trillion usd digital economy and a 5 trillion usd gdp by 
government to conduct skill mapping of citizens returning from overseas aiming to make the best of our skilled workforce returning to the country due to the ongoing pandemic the government has launched a new initiative swadesh that is s w a d e s which means skilled workers arrival database for employment support to conduct a skill mapping exercise of the returning citizens under the one day bharat mission which aims to create a database of qualified citizens based on their skill sets and experience to tap into the fulfilled demand of indian and foreign companies chinese parliament approves controversial hong kong security law the 15 nation council discussed the ongoing hong kong issue in an informal virtual meeting after the us and uk raised the issue of china's controversial security law for hong kong during an emergency discussion in the security council the move has been condemned and prompted anxiety inside and outside hong kong where residents were annoyed under china's tightening hold for years electronics manufacturing schemes could be the game changer the production linked incentive scheme is going to be the game changer and the scheme will help boost growth in mobile phone manufacturing in india as well as meet exports targets assigned under the national policy on electronics that is npe 2019 experts say the initiatives are well on time by identifying the low hanging fruits which can be brought to india in the immediate term secondly there are three areas in the esdm sector which can be brought to india in two years time are pcbas that is printed circuit board assembly display and the energy source that is or battery packs the three schemes have outlaid a fund of rupees 50000 crores LG Polymers has the sole liability for Visa gas leak. South Korean company LG Polymers India has absolute liability for the loss of life and public health in the gas leak incident at its plant in Visakhapatnam. The National Green Tribunal NGT has said it directed that the interim penalty of rupees 50 crore be spent on compensation to victims and restoration of the environment Apple appoints Ipsita Das Gupta to head its business in the country Ipsita Das Gupta former president of strategy and new ventures at Hotstar joined as the country manager of India and she will be heading the company's streaming services in the country now Ipsita would be leading Apple's streaming services such as Apple TV Plus, Apple Store, Apple Music, Apple Mo Movies and iCloud in India. Acer brings Swift 3 laptop with AMD Ryzen 4000 series mobile processor. Acer India has announced the latest addition to its thin and light notebook series and is now available up to AMD Ryzen 5 4500U processor with Radeon graphics. Acer Swift 3 is India's first AMD Ryzen 4000 series mobile processor powered laptop in the market for mobile computing needs. Google scraps Mitro and removes China apps from its Play Store. The Mitro app which is believed as an alternative to TikTok in India has crossed 5 million downloads within a month of gaining 4.7 rating before it was scrapped from Play Store. Same has happened with another popular app that is Remove China Apps which was supporting Solidarity of Indian has gained popularity in India in recent weeks. 
which was also downloaded more than 5 million times since last May. It helped the users to detect and easily delete apps developed by Chinese firms. The reason for the delete says it was pulled from Android's Maki app store for violating Google Play Store's deceptive behavior policy. Whatever best technology or architecture one develops using the best of class technology in the world depends on the platform's acceptability to run on one's mobility devices or not. Presently, the leadership is with Android and Apple and by respecting the policy of the platforms of Google and Android, there has to be a third party and neutral service provider to evaluate the particular app. Since the owner of the mobile phone has the freedom to decide which app he wants to run or not. This is a serious need for the democratization of apps. Businesses need new solutions to ensure business continuity in the current economic climate, recover quickly and ensure operational resilience beyond COVID-19. India COVID Watch The number of coronavirus cases in India has crossed 2 lakh mark on June 3rd and stood at 2 lakhs 14,389 with the death toll at 6,018 and registered a massive spike of 9,577 new COVID-19 cases and 253 fatalities. To sum up, one of the greatest barriers in digital transformation is not technology. It is the human resistance to change. Within an enterprise, a wholesale cultural shift is needed for digitization to take hold and be used to its full efficiency boosting potential. The COVID-19 pandemic and associated upsurge in remote working has expanded the threat landscape for all enterprises. The security of communications and collaboration tools is highly productive for strengthening digital infrastructure to deal with the impact of COVID-19 and better integration of artificial intelligence into the public health response should be a priority. Lastly, we can stop Chinese interference on 5G by correct implementation of public procurement Make in India policy clause that is 10D. As the government tries to have Atmanirbhar Bharat, 5G manufacturing in India, Nokia and Ericsson are taking advantage of the production linked incentive scheme of the telecom sector is a workable solution. That's it for the day and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to War India magazine. Please download the War India app for the latest news and updates which is available on Google Play Store. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you very much.